Freeform Course FF1. Swept, how to select, orientate and scale section curves. Even if it's called freeform, there are still rules to follow. Whether you are designing an iron, a shampoo bottle or the wing of a turbine, there are always a lot of constraints that need to be taken into account. Similar to the basic modeling course, the freeform course introduces you to the topic and exercises that build on each other. You will learn about different methods and have the opportunity to test your knowledge again and again using the exercises marked in green. The swept command is used to guide, scale and orientate cross sections along curves or rules. It is used to design turbine blades, screw conveyors and complex flow channels. I will call it technical freeform. And with that, welcome to Learn NX and to the first video of the freeform course. Working with guide curves. This exercise starts very simply with just one cross section. In the sketch, you can use the on path option to place the sketch directly on a curve. You can find out more about sketch on path in this video. You will find the link below. I create a simple rectangle as the cross section. In the swept command, after selecting the cross section, at least, one guide curve must be selected. The guide curve can consist of several tangential curves. This means that these two curves can be selected, but not those. I create a second guide curve with a simple line. After this small correction in the history, you can now work with the line. The selection of the second guide curve scales the intersection curve proportionally to the distance between the curves. With the lateral setting, scaling only takes place in the width. With the uniform setting, the width and height are scaled. Now a third line is added, as the height can also be controlled by selecting a third guide curve. Here too, the scaling is proportional to the distance between the curves. However, the guide curves are not only used for scaling the section curve, but also for alignment. This becomes clear when the first and second curves are not on the same plane. As a test, I shift the end point of the second curve by 20 mm in the Z direction. Tolerances It is now clear that the original cross section changes continuously. The section curve changes at every point of the guide curves. But really at every point, that would lead to an infinite number of cutting curves and an infinite amount of calculation work. The solution is, tolerances. Such freeform surfaces are always subject to a tolerance in all 3D CAD systems. It can be changed here below within the command. In machine and tool construction, tolerances of 0.001 mm and 0.1 degrees are used. Otherwise, the preset values are also sufficient. Remember, the lower the tolerance, the greater the calculation effort. You can preset the tolerance for the session under Menu, Preferences, Modeling, General. You can permanently preset the tolerance here in the customer defaults.
Within this tolerance, the surfaces deviate from the ideal geometry. Even the corners can be rounded within the tolerance. The preserve shape option prevents such corner rounding. Several individual surfaces are then created, which are trimmed to each other at the corner. This is the only way to subsequently round such corners. If the solid setting is selected under body type, a solid is created, and surfaces are created under the sheet setting. Surfaces are also created with an open cross section. Multiple cross sections. If specifically defined cross sections are required, several cross sections must be created and selected. Up to 256 cross sections can be selected, but only three rectangles are sufficient for this example. After selecting the first rectangle, this arrow indicates the start of the contour. If the next rectangle is selected at a different corner, NX will connect these two corners. Pretty, but pointless. But this is quickly corrected, because the corners to be joined, can be selected again with specify origin curve. The transition between the cross sections is interpolated by NX. The option. Linear creates hard transitions with a sharp edge. Cubic creates sinusoidal transitions, and a blend creates a radius over three points. Conclusion. That's it already. You should have no problem doing the following exercise. But if you have any questions about the video, write to me in the comments on YouTube or email me directly at info at learnnx.com. I would be happy to support your project, even on site.